It's been said that it's not the destination, but the journey. And the riches that come in life depend on what side of the tracks you play. I was always a dreamer. Growing up in Linwood, Delaware County, Ed Doherty had no idea he would grow up to be one of the world's top golfers. I had a great childhood. I grew up in a nice town. After serving a tour of duty in Vietnam, Doherty finessed his way to another tour, the PGA. I won more money than I ever dreamed of and not as much as my wife wanted me to. Says it all right there, doesn't it? Though he was playing on golf's biggest stage, that little boy inside never left, and neither did the toys he collected. I had trains from the time I can remember. I was born in November 1947, and my mother bought me my first train set in September of 1947, and she didn't know whether she was going to have a girl or a boy. Now that he's retired from the tour, his hobby has come full steam ahead. And perhaps more accurately, full circle. My train collection consists of 1900 to 1969. Meticulously arranged throughout his Delaware County home, this conductor proudly displays his engines, cars, and cabooses. And they say, how many trains do you have? I just say a bunch, it's like a banana. How many, nobody counts bananas, it's just I got a bunch. It's a walk through the railroad relics, the advertisements, and the train layouts from days gone by. A collection that has grown from one little train kit. And I remember setting up my train set, I was seven years old. And I also remember ringing my ears, checking electricity. That's how I learned, you know. <laughs> Wow, that, that, wasn't the best, that wasn't the best way, but they heard noise and my mom and dad came down and there I had the trains running. Doherty's success on the greens has allowed him to evolve as one of the hobby's heavyweights. This train ride is about being a kid again. Kids love that one. Never did it for money. Of course, I never played golf for money either, so I'm good at stuff that I win, don't win money at, but... Uh, I just enjoy it. The quiet and humble Doherty enjoys the solitude that comes with the tinkering of his prized toys. Gone from the grueling challenge of the pro golf tour, Ed found his way to share his hobby with others. We got HO, we got Standard Gauge, we got Free War, we got American Flyer. Doherty has set up a shop to help rail fans complete their collections or perhaps just get started, all while swapping stories about their childhoods. They have grandchildren, they're bringing and they would say, oh, Pop Pop had this type of a train when he was a boy, and it's just a good time. The guy opens up the door, so. That little boy who loved trains grew up and traveled the country to play a few rounds, only to realize he never really left home. I'm trying to probably buy back my childhood, you know, because instead of doing homework, I used to look at the Lionel catalogs and daydream. I, I was always a dreamer, you know, I mean, to this day, I'm still a dreamer. You got good timing there.